Where are we going? All the way to the top, Timothy. All the way to the top. Hey! During her time on the street. Will you be giving me a reference? No. Sally Metcalf has certainly made her mark in Weatherfield. I believe my best friend's the man. Oh. <laughs> One of the great characters of Coronation Street. You're amazing. I know. One of the classics. Actor Sally Dinover has now played her alter ego Sally for nearly three and a half decades. I do. She's iconic and she does it so effortlessly. Come here. <laughs> Sally Dinover draws you in. <laughs> and that's because she's such an amazing actress. So buckle up and be on your best behaviour. Let's go and play horsey. <laughs> As we celebrate all of Sally's <laughs> most memorable moments. Sally! My daughter's a lesbian. Congratulations. Thank you. She does it so sublimely. Tim. I think she's absolutely fabulous. This is what you could have won. Hello, Metcalf residents. Sally the Mayor speaking. Today, Sally Metcalf is one of Weatherfield's most refined residents. Sally's always had aspirations of um, being grander than she is. Hey, excuse me, those are my favourite cushions. Apparently Dame Judy Dent, she's got exactly the same ones. She's just a fussy snob, isn't she, that just cares about what the neighbours think. <gasps> what if the neighbours start in the rubbish? You're not being a snob didn't last long. And she absolutely has got delusions of grandeur. Girls, can I ask you something? Oh, as long as it's not about this barbecue garden party. Sally has always wanted more. I might live in Weatherfield, Norris, but Cheshire is my spiritual home. <laughs> Things like living over the other side of the road, not in a terrace, she's in a semi and it's got a conservatory. But I have got a conservatory, which gives us a bit of extra space. Now I've got a hot tub. Sally's got a hot tub in her garden. I think I'm right in saying that we are the only home in Weatherfield that has a hot tub in their back garden. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> Actor Sally Dinover has now appeared in over 3,300 episodes of Corrie. Cheers, girls. But just how did she get here? Born in Middleton, North Manchester, Sally and her family were always big fans of the street. Growing up, I loved Coronation Street because it was the northern thing. You know, you went to school, you came home at the end of the day, you had your tea and you watched Corrie. Is everybody decent? Well, you'd have copped an eyeful by now if they weren't. And when I went to drama school, they were always saying, oh, you'll be in Coronation Street. And I was like, God, I'd love that. Sally's big break on TV came in 1985 on the popular BBC police drama, Juliet Bravo. What's your name for me? She killed herself. She haven't had some smack for me. <laughs> the following year, 22-year-old Sally was booked to appear in three episodes of The Street, playing Sally Seddon, a girlfriend of car mechanic Kevin Webster. But things didn't get off to a good start. I nearly blew my first day, actually, because um, I decided that at those days um, there was Mary, the punk, in EastEnders. Hey, you! I thought, yeah, she's cool. I really want to look like that. The first time I saw her as Sally Seddon, she was this punk character with all this, like, dark eye shadow and all like, this spiky hair and these shocking clothes. I got on the set and Mike Lavelle went, oh, my God. I'm not sure Kevin would go for that look. I was like, really? He said, yeah, that won't last long if she's a punk. You know, and we had a chat about it. So I went back to the makeup chair, washed it all off, and then just put a normal makeup on and went back on the set. But it would have been quite interesting, actually, wouldn't it, if Sally had been a punk all these years? 